If you couldn't tell already, we are in Italy still. We're at Lamborghini today and we're shooting the museum, but we're also going to take out a Huracan and go for a little cruise on the streets. I've actually never driven a Lamborghini before, so I figured what's better than actually driving one for the first time in Italy from Lamborghini. This is honestly a dream come true. This is gonna be a lot of fun. I figured since we're in Italy, this is the most Italian thing we can do. We come to Lamborghini, pick up a car, go for a cruise. This is just ridiculous. I love my job. What do you think? It's pretty cool. I've never, <laughs> I've never seen this in person before. There's a lot of things I've never seen in person before. Yeah. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen a Reventon or a Sesto Lamento. Actually, I've never seen this one either. I've seen this in Forza, that's about it. Actually, that one too. Actually, wow, oh man, this entire row right here. Pretty much most of these I haven't seen in person besides like the normal ones that we see in the US. Yeah, like Huracans, Gardos, Mercilagos. Aventadors. Aventadors, that's about it. Like we see, oh, a couple of Diablos, Countach, What's the and SUV? a couple of Miras. And the, Miras? Yeah, and yeah. then the, uh, Urus. Urus? The Urus. 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 That's about uh, it. A couple of race cars. That's pretty much it. All of this rest of the stuff is new to us. So, uh... I mean, I see him in Forza, so... <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna walk around and, and try to not look like a fool. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys a little bit of what it's like to be here. So if you guys are in the area, you should definitely come and check it out yourself because it's super cool. All right, so first car I'm gonna feature is the new Countach. This is very limited production and this is just something that Lamborghini built to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the original Countach. I think honestly it looks really, really good. It's pretty polarizing. A lot of people don't really like it. Um, because it, they think that it needs to look even more like a Countach, but I like it. I get that it's just a kind of a minor change. I think it, it, they all sold out pretty much immediately, so they definitely did something right. It looks great. I'm assuming that this might be the car that they photographed for the press release photos because it's white and there's just not many of them. Uh, I don't even know how many they made but uh, it is cool to see this vehicle in person. Looks like that's like the sketch for it. I love all the little throwback touches to this design. Uh, it does say Countach up front here on the grill, which is really cool. The headlights, honestly, I think my favorite part looking at it from the front. In terms of quick stats, they only made 112 units and it is over 800 horsepower. Next up, I think this is probably one of my favorite Lamborghinis. I just love the way it looks. Diablo GT, very, very 90s. Love the fact that it has Z32 headlights. I do think that it, they actually have this little carbon fiber piece to hide the fact that it says Nissan on there. I've always loved the way these look. Being able to see this in this condition makes me pretty happy. It's just so cool. 335 30s. What a car. If I'm not mistaken, this is from the Chrysler era of Lamborghini. I know these had a lot of problems, but man, does it look so good. It's just such a beautiful car. I've never had a chance to drive one of these. Maybe one day I'll be able to bug somebody who owns one to try it out with its awesome gated shifter. This is something I've never seen before. The Sisto Elemento. It is a V10, 570 horsepower, zero to 100 kilometers in two and a half seconds, only 20 made. So it does weigh 999 kilograms and it is all wheel drive. It's that lightweight because of course so much of it is carbon fiber including the wheels. 
What's crazy is they went even beyond that and they made the suspension and a lot of the interior carbon fiber. It's inspired by like a stealth fighter, but what's crazy is literally everything is carbon. The center console, the seats, the whole dash, all of it for them to be able to hit that weight. What's crazy is how much is exposed. You can see the steering column and the shaft that goes in front. I mean, you can see through pretty much so much of it because of how hollow it is. They really, really try to save weight anywhere they could. Look at this, this whole piece in the back is just a single piece. You can see there's a little bit of red flake in the clear that they put over it. Oh my God, even the exhaust tips here are carbon. I had no idea. Look at that transmission that's just hanging out in the back. What a cool car. It is all wheel drive. I can't believe they made 20 of these. Look at the fuel filler. This is just full on race car for the street. I couldn't imagine what it would be like driving this. It's kind of interesting though, because when I look at it from the outside, it almost feels like the proportions are off. Like it's too short in the back. Maybe because, um, of course, to save weight, but it's just the design. It, it just kind of cuts off there. And look how far back the transmission hangs. It's, that's like literally part of the bumper. It's, it's maybe just like a couple inches of bumper and then you get the transmission. Definitely would not want to be rear-ended in this thing. What a cool car. Look at the wheels. Look at the, the detail, the center lock wheels. Of course, carbon ceramic brakes too. Every bit of weight savings that they possibly could have had to hit that target of 999 kilograms, under a thousand kilograms. Even the, you can see there's some kind of like oxidation on the headlight because they used, I'm assuming Lexan or something for the headlight to save weight. What's also interesting to me is that usually they have like a piece of glass back here to cover the engine, but through this hole, you can just see the engine right there. This is an interesting scene. You have the original Lamborghini SUV and then the current generation new Urus Lamborghini SUV. This is the first time I've ever seen this in this color. I've seen a couple of these before in red, but it's just such an interesting looking vehicle. I wish it actually took off, but this one is cool because it's right-hand drive. Manual SUV, what a cool vehicle. It's very like Hummer looking, very military looking. It has some huge tires. I can't believe how big the tires are on this. So it's 345, 60, 17s. Oh, some huge meats. Look how much space is inside though. Another car I've never driven before or ridden in. Look at that spare tire. That is really, really neat. What a neat vehicle. Bummer that it didn't take off and bummer that there's not more of these. So this is the bottom section where they have a lot of the historic vehicles. It looks like they have a very, very early Countach here in green, which looks incredible. Um, I don't know if this is like a um, prototype or I don't know if this is like a pre-production, but I've just never seen one that looks like this with this spec. The design is timeless. Of course, you can't visit the Lamborghini Museum without talking about the Mira. A lot of people regard this as one of the most, if not the most beautiful car in the world ever designed. I think it's really beautiful. Love the fact that it has eyelashes. Uh, the front of a car, most of the time, you know, should represent a face or has like a face look to it, but it does have eyelashes. 
It is such a pretty car. I've actually never seen it in this color. We shoot Jay Leno's a lot, which is uh, orange. And I think it looks great in orange, but this gold is really nice. Mira S. Park next to it is this 350 GT, which is apparently the first Lamborghini, but I've actually never even seen one of these before. It looks very different, way rounder than any other Lamborghini I've ever seen. And of course, this is the start of it. So it honestly looks more like a Ferrari or like a cross between a Ferrari and a Jaguar to me. But that's just me. I'm not a big supercar guy. I don't claim to know so much about supercars, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, this, that, and the other. But uh, I can appreciate them. You know, that's why we're here. We wanted to check them out and appreciate them. And I just love the fact that they have this open to the public. Anyone can come and check out these cars in person. There's no stanchions, there's no rope, there's no like glass you have to look through. You can get just one inch away from these cars and just look at the detail. And that's what I love so much. I really do appreciate that. Definitely appreciate Lamborghini for, for putting all this effort into preserving their history and preserving their cars for everyone to see. All right, so we just finished up the museum and got the key to this very yellow Huracan. I think Lewis is excited. Are we gonna go off-roading with it? <laughs> Four, five fingers. Eight. This is so you don't bottom out on anything. I don't know. The roads are so smooth here, so I don't know. You should lower it as soon as you get it. Just All like right. the lowest setting. I'll try. All right. So first time driving a Lamborghini in Italy. Crazy. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Comes out, greets you. What a nice car. Huracan Technica. All right, you guys are witnessing us figuring this out live because I have no idea how to do any of this. So this is, yeah, this is really cool. You lift this to start it. Wow. That is serious. Oh, see, Lewis, this is all lifted already. So once I get out of this parking lot, I can actually lower it. Oh, it just lifts it during park mode? Yeah, I'm assuming so. So this one has 5,268 kilometers. It sounds so insane. Mm, they said it's English for you because they heard the Americans coming. So <laughs> it's <laughs> preset to uh, English. <laughs> This is actually nice. I, I like the screen being down here versus yeah. it being up here. It's annoying. Also, the dash is so long. It's really long. Yeah. This is legitimately like a whole new experience for me. I'm figuring this out as we go. So, yeah. Oh, look at this guy. Car spotter. Hi. He's getting shots of us already. Oh. Whoa, how? Where's the. Ah, right here. Ah, uh, it, it's it's pretty tame for it being a supercar. Honestly, it feels you know pretty tame, after, and that's the nice thing about a not modern supercar. Well, it's the Huracan is the daily that is the the supercar you get daily. Yeah, it's kind of like an R8. It's a supercar you get daily. Yeah, it's basically just like a 911, but it's not. Oh, it has auto stop and oh, start. Oh. Okay, so if I put it on sport. Whoa. That is so loud. Corsa is track. That's probably no traction control or anything. Definitely don't want to do that, especially because it's raining right now. You know, this is great because for all these people here driving in front of Lamborghini, they probably expect to see a Lamborghini around here. So it's good that we're taking this around. We should just do circles around the building here where they actually you have do, these. You should do five full circles around this roundabout. No, no, I'm scared. This car, honestly, it's it's pretty intimidating. You know, first of all, everybody's staring at you, taking pictures of you when you're driving this around. I mean, the very first person we saw as soon as we left Lamborghini. We didn't like, even pull out of the driveway and somebody was already taking a picture of this thing. 
Also, it's really hard to not go fast in this. It's just so good. The problem with this is it's just, it's honestly too fast, but it just sounds so good. You can't not floor it. Even just like a quick one, two through these streets, so much fun. Everything feels so premium. Everything feels so nice. The ride is really, really nice, even in sport mode. I mean, we've been running over these crazy bumps, but this is just such a nice car. I mean, I don't really get to drive supercars ever. I've just driven a handful of them in my life and I definitely appreciate every one of them so much. Lewis found a cool spot in the city center here. So we'll go ahead, park it and get a couple shots and then we'll see where the day goes from there. I just realized that literally everybody is taking pictures of it. Even um, the guys that are living up here, they're taking pictures of it. People walking by. They love Lamborghini so much here and they're literally based out of here. They're made here, but they still appreciate them so much. I think that's really, really, really cool. Oh my God, it's so fast. How could you not like this? This is just so good. What an incredible car. It just goes. This is gonna sound really dumb, but I just never really understood the whole supercar thing. Maybe it's because I wasn't born into that tax bracket or I never grew up around supercars, but there's just something so special about driving this thing. It really gives a smile to everybody. I mean, of course it helps that this is the town that Lamborghini supports, but um, Everybody is just so stoked to see it. No matter where we go, like all the locals are like, oh my God. Even though I'm sure they see these every single day driving around here, you know, I'm sure the test drivers or whomever, the people that actually work at Lamborghini drive these around all the time, but um, it still brings a smile to their face and that makes me feel good. It just really makes me feel good that this language of car culture and enjoying these beautiful machines, even though a lot of them are a little unobtainable. It's just cool to see that they exist. I'm, I'm actually glad to be able to experience this without actually having to own it. So big thank you to Lamborghini. Really, really cool opportunity to let me drive this thing. They actually did offer us this car for a couple days but unfortunately we're just so busy here shooting. It just didn't work out in terms of timing, actually dropping it back off or picking it up. So we just happened to be in this area where they're located. So it just worked out to stop by for a couple hours. We're gonna go return it, which is a bummer, but we're gonna shoot something awesome next. So see you guys in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. If you wanna support us directly, go to LarryChenPrints.com. I print and sign every single one of these. This is the perfect gift or it's the perfect piece of art for your wall.